an American League East matchup. Yankees baseball as New York goes up against the Boston Red Sox. Coming your way on 2K Sports. He is called a dirt ball kind of player, and that's a compliment. Today, we'll watch that jersey get dirty. Dustin Pedroia in the lineup. Great to be with you. 2K Sports presents Tuesday Afternoon Baseball. Starting pitching, John Lester. And Steve, what's he got in his mind now as he pitches against these Yankees? Well, this is some kind of lineup he's facing in this one, and this left-hander is going to have to be on top of his game and really move his pitches around. Now let's take a look at the Yankees' offense. Scouting pick, John, who are we uh, looking at today? Robinson Cano is one of the purest hitters in the game of baseball. A swing so fluid and effortless. That's why he hits the left-handed pitchers as well as he does the righties. To me, no weakness at all in his swing. Plus. Gardner at the plate as the leadoff man to get this game started. Center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. At the belt, Lester kicks, throws. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. Oh, he took a look at ball one, and I think right now his tendency is to not swing at this pitch either. I think you've got to throw the strike right here. Here's a strike, lunged for that bunt and missed it. Ball. Outside as Gardner takes it for a ball. One for six career numbers for him against John Lester. Fouled off by Gardner. Swung on, a fly ball heading towards the corner and right. As he drops back for it and puts it away. Number two, Derek Jeter. We'll take a look here and see where the Red Sox are positionally around the diamond. And he picks John. Well, Stephen Drew isn't that big, flashy, dive all over the field, you know, make the outstanding play that gives the oohs and ahs from the crowd, but hit the ball at him, he's going to make that play more often than not. Maybe one of the best shortstops at the routine play in all of baseball. Swung on, hit, and Pedroia picks it up. You're out. That retires Jeter. Second base. Number 24, Robinson Canero. Chance here comes with two away for Robinson Cano. Swing and a bouncing ball up the middle. Picked up by Napoli. And out. Pitcher makes a nice play at first base. That was a nice play. Saw the opportunity at first. Didn't waste any time getting over. That's the key. Beat the runner to the back. Good hustle off the mound. And CC Sabathia is the pitcher. New York's got him starting in this one. And Steve, as he gets into this Boston lineup, what are we going to see? Well, it's South Paul on the mound today, and this one is going to have to be on top of his game. And when he's on, He's usually pretty darn good, but this is a quality lineup he's facing, which means he's going to have to really execute his pitches to get out of jams. Strike that one two. taken by Ellsbury for a strike. On the way. You're Cannot out. get a swing on that one. Jacoby Ellsbury is a strikeout victory. But Gary, he's not messing around, going right at him on the 0-2 count. He didn't waste anything. He just went right for the juggler. This is how the Red Sox are lining up. Thoughts, John? Anybody stand out? Well, Jacoby Ellsbury proved he can be a 30-30 threat with his speed and his power. We always knew he was a great defender. Now the offense is matching up. He's one of the most complete players, and he's going to be an MVP candidate every year he plays. Strike Sabathia's got him on one. Well, the Yankees are about as good a road team as you're going to find in baseball year after year, and they equal the Tigers and Red Sox again. Most wins with 45 overall. And with two strikes on him, Shane Victorino does not want a K here. 
Pretty amazing the Yankees in the road games over the last four years have been either the best at it or second best in the American League. Well, it's about balance. They've got good pitching, good bullpen, and a big-time offense that travels very, very well. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as a king. Well, he's up in the mid-90s now, so pretty good velocity, but not much break on it. Now we'll take a quick look at the Yankees and how they'll be fielding defensively. And uh, John, any scouting picks? Well, you look at elite range and you look at Brett Gardner. Left field, center field, doesn't really matter. He doesn't have a strong throwing arm, but watch how quickly he charges balls. And you look at the distance he has to throw because he charges so far. He's so shallow in the outfield that a lot of the third base coaches have to hold runners because he is so close when he catches the ball. He has great instincts for left field and center field, and he's going to be an award winner before his career is over. And it's a called strike to Ortiz. Well, the pitcher's way ahead. He's got some room here now to play with some pitches. Don't be too fine giving him something good to hit. Curveball ball. That tied him up in knots. Swung on and missed. Side retired. And a good half inning there. Gone in short order in this one. And the Yankees. It'll be their turn coming up. For the New York Yankees. Teixeira into the batter's box. Number 25. At the belt, Lester kicks, throws, and Teixeira will take that low. A two-seam fastball is such an effective pitch. One, because it gets ground ball outs, but two, it sets up his own. Well, this one is hit deep by Teixeira. You're not going to see that one again. Home run, the Yankees are on the board. And the first run of the ball game. Wow, it comes with a solo home run and a 1-0 lead. Okay, the Yankees the getting Yankees the job Yankees. done here offensively, Third doing base. what they need to do. Number 36, Kevin Euclid. Up the middle, and Euclid has got himself a base hit. Coming so back. that brings up Travis Hafner. Yankees. Well, not a bad pitch right there, down and away in the strike zone, but this guy absolutely loves that pitch in that spot, and he drove that ball to get on base. Lester's pitch, a good one, not hit. It was a hitter, when a guy has a good fastball, you think you have to swing a lot harder to try to catch up with it. You really don't, but he did right there, and that's why he blew it past him. The pitch, headed for the middle. Whoa, get out of the way of that one. Straight back up the middle. And they turn the double play. A beautiful looking double play right there. And pitcher's best friend. And that shortens the inning, shortens the number of pitches that have to be thrown. It's all about the fence. And we're going to see Diaz here. Good odds here. Six ABs, two hits, lifetime against Lester. Taps this one foul off to the left. Ball. Circle change there. Misses. One and one. The one one. Hit up the middle. My off the pitcher. Number 16. Throws on to first side is retired. They get that first run of the ball game here in the second. Something to work on. The Yankees are leading one to nothing. And beating down a bit this afternoon, a real heat factor. It's Mike Napoli to lead it off. Uh, and he can't catch up with that one, 0-1. He just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. And the 0-1 by Sabathia. Strike two. And two strikes on him now. Mike Napoli, he'll take a look at these next pitches very closely. You're 
Swung on and missed. Strike three. Mike Napoli has struck out. Hey, chance to take a look at this slider right here, Gary. Well, sometimes you get fooled so badly, there's just nothing else you can do but hope and pray that you put the ball in play, hopefully foul, to get another pitch to hit. One away, and here's Dustin Pedroia. Well, last year, the results of the Red Sox-Yankees rivalry, pretty surprising. The Red Sox won 12 of the 18 games. That's the most wins they've had against the Yankees in almost 40 years. It's now 0-1. Watch that fastball go by. The Red Sox, of course, had it put to them on the other side. They may have won the series, but it's the Yankees who won the American well, League. That's right. I think the Red Sox Strike would two. trade that result. Give the Yankees the 12 wins. We'd rather go to the playoffs. The Yankees are saying, no thanks. We're happy. Pitch on the way. And Dustin Pedroia's down. No contact. But Gary, he delivers a changeup on this one. He decides to take a hack at a pitch up and away, but he just couldn't put the barrel on. Nice piece of pitching right there, John. Well, it certainly was. you got to give him credit to the pitcher for giving him something eye level to chase him. In the batter's box, Salta Lavacchia. Hitting 250 lifetime against CC Sabathia. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Straight Can't catch up with that swing and a miss, and it's now 0-2. Well, I tell you what, that two-seam fastball is a tough pitch to hit out of the ballpark, but he was trying, give him credit, came up empty. You're oh, up. man, there's the big bender. Struck him outside, retired. Not a lot of action in this half inning, nothing on. Red Sox can't get the offense going. Another chance for the leadoff hitter coming up in the inning. At the plate, and it's Ichiro to lead us off. Number 31, Ichiro. Foul! Ichiro, foul ball. Ichiro again foul. fights it off. And he fouls off another one. Well, when a pitcher throws a pitch like that, you expect to get the strikeout. Great piece of hitting defensively to keep this at bat alive. There's a swing, line drive, center field. One plate, away. The New York Yankees, Peppers, number 20, Francisco Cervelli. And Cervelli's in the box. This is interesting. Last year, the Red Sox marked the 11th consecutive season. They had a winning record against the tough AL East, but it was also their second consecutive year they finished in third place. Towards center field, that one gets through for a base hit. At the plate. It's the nice to get that runner on base with one out. Good piece of hit in that single. Now they got something to work with. One on. Here's Brett Gardner. I'm not sure fans would uh, really believe what Steve just said, that you just don't think of the Red Sox finishing in third John but that is exactly what's happened two years in a row well it has and it brought about huge changes to the Boston organization the front office and then the dugout that's what a third place finish gets you in a market like Boston here's a swing and a fly ball this one to Victorino two down here in the inning good first step movement by the right fielder good angle to run this one down and make a nice run here that will give Derek Jeter a chance with a runner on. His lifetime average, 288 against the Red Sox. First pitch to him. That one's drilled to short. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. Though so John Lester continues to get the job done. And the Red Sox coming up next. Bottom three due up next. For the Boston Red Sox. And it's Johnny Gomes in the box now. Five, He's our first batter, home Johnny half of the Gomes. third inning. Five. And we've got Sean Kelly out on the mound. They've decided it was time to make a change here. I don't see why you do this. He's pitching very well out there, and all this does is burn your bullpen. It may not hurt you today, but it could hurt you tomorrow. Oh. 
Right First pitch, a fastball. That's in there for a strike. You know, typically he comes back with an 0-1 fastball. As a hitter, you've got to sit on that pitch and look to drive it. Strike, strike two. two. No balls. Two strikes. Gomes will protect. Strike three, Johnny Gomes on a swing and a miss. Well, Gary, let's see this pitch again in K-Cam. Here's another look at the changeup. This is a tough pitch to handle, but he takes the swings anyway. And Johnny had to do that, right? Well, it would have been a strike regardless, but sometimes you got to make the pitcher work a little bit harder out there for the good of the team. Number eight spot in the lineup. First pitch, a slider for a called strike. Here's a big swing and a miss. 0 and 2. Swing and a miss on the fastball. Suck it out in the inning. Well, he's up in the mid 90s now, so pretty good velocity, but not much break on it. That's how you use your fastball, using it very effectively. Two consecutive punch outs. And a chance here with two down for Stephen Drew. Five for 24 against the Yankees. Strike Watches one. the changeup go by for strike one. That well, changeup got away from him a little bit right there, but he did get a strike out of it. Strike and two. it's 0-2, and Drew now the pitcher controlling. All the pressure on the hitter right now. He knows that he has to protect the plate in order not to strike out. You're out. Slider swung on and missed. Struck him out. That's going to retire the side. And nothing across here in this half of the inning. Yankees won. Boston nothing. 